Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Sim Racing Corner and the shifter showdown between the Husenfeld and Alog's sequential shifters. I initially intended to review these sim racing shifters in separate videos, uh, but what occurred to me while preparing for that is how similar the attributes between these two shifters actually are. And so rather than separate them, I thought let's put them together in a single video and I'll give you my impressions and my recommendation at the end. One reason you'd consider a compact unit like one of these is convenience of size and being able to locate it in a good position around your sim setup. And both of these are small and easy to mount. The Husenfeld and A-Logs shifters both have superb build quality and in use they feel very similar. So if you are shopping around, uh, both these shifters may have come up on your radar and I imagine it's going to be tricky to pick between them. And that's the purpose of this video, the battle of the compact shifters. And these are best in class, I don't think there's anything better out there in this size. To review the shifters, we've broken the review down into rounds of categories. We'll go through those in turn, discussing the features and pros and cons. At the end of each round, I'll announce the winner of that category and at the end we'll tally up the points and have a winner. Right then, you know the rules, let's get the show started. Let's dive in at the top and compare the prices. The Husenfeld weighs in at €209 Euros, and the A-Logs cost US$165. Dollars. If we convert that to Euros just for parity, uh, it's about €143 Euros at today's prices. So that's quite a bit less. So that's just over a €50 Euro difference in price, uh, which is quite significant in favour of the A-Log shifter. You have to add shipping on both. Also, depending where you live, you may be subject to import duty and VAT. So that's something for you to work out. Uh, Husenfeld ship out of Europe and the A-Log shifter comes from Russia. And with round one complete, the A-Log shifter takes an early lead. Round two is accessories. Starting with Husenfeld again, it comes with three different gear shift rods, three hard plastic gear knobs, a table clamp, and a mounting plate for 80-20 sim rigs. Uh, so you get plenty of bits and bobs, which is welcome, giving you plenty of options. Moving over to the A-Log shifter, uh, there's no extras. Uh, at the time of purchase, you have the option to choose between the table clamp or 80-20 mounting plate, and that's your lot. Um, for me, I chose the mounting plate for my setup. So we get lots of accessories with the Husenfeld package, uh, giving us lots of different combinations when we uh, mix it all up. Uh, so that's great. Um, so round two, Husenfeld is the clear winner in the accessories. On to round three to compare the sizes. The Husenfeld um, is tiny. It fits in the palm of your hand. The total width is 79 millimeters. That includes the black dome covers on the sides. It's 72 millimeters in length and 49.5 millimeters in height. That height measure doesn't include the gear stick um, as that will depend on which combination of gear rod and knob you use. Uh, so including a gear stick and knob, uh, the total shifter height, the minimum is 135 millimeters and the maximum you can achieve is 197 millimeters and different heights between that range um, as you swap the parts around. Over to the A-Log shifter, uh, the base is 64 millimeters wide, 115 millimeters in length and 54 millimeters in height, including the gear stick, uh, it's a total height of 175 millimeters. For being able to perform so well within such a condensed package, uh, the winner has to go to the Husenfeld. And you can't forget that by having all those accessories, you can change the height of the gear stick, uh, which is really good, opposed to the A-Log shifter, which is a fixed height. This makes it a decisive victory in round three for the Husenfeld. Moving on to appearance in round four, uh, the Husenfeld sequential shifter is utilitarian in design, it's practical and neat. I don't think there's much more to say here. Uh, it's a plain little case with bolts sticking out the side. Uh, the gear knobs are black hard plastic, nothing very distinctive either. Um, I'd describe it as looking like a lever assembly pulled off a piece of industrial machinery. Looking at the A-Log shifter, it's clearly gone to additional lengths to make it look more impressive beyond the boxy exterior. Uh, the gear lever and knob are a nice shiny metal. The Perspex cover has the A-Logs logo nicely etched in and allows you to look at the mechanism inside, along with an LED light. Um, it's beautifully constructed inside the casing, a great example of design and engineering. Um, so the A-Log shifter wins the beauty contest hands down in round four for me. Next up is build quality. Uh, both shifters are using premium components made from thick stainless steel sheets, uh, smooth rounded corners and tight tolerances throughout. Uh, both are super solid and durable. These things are really made to last. Um, in the neutral position, there's no wiggle on sticks. That's really great. It makes them feel substantial when you shift as there's no looseness. Um, and it's a kind of like attention to detail like that makes all the difference and you do appreciate it. 
Uh, for me, this is a tie in for build quality. I think that's fair, both were assembled out of high quality parts. Both can be mounted with either a table clamp or mounting plate. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the accessories round, the Husenfeld sequential shifter comes with both the mounting plates and table clamp included. However, the A-Logs is only shipped with one or the other, chosen during ordering. Uh, you could of course have both the mounting plate and table clamp um, at an additional cost. Even with the larger footprint of the A-Log shifter, um, I would find it hard to imagine that if you need a really compact unit, the A-Logs wouldn't just be as viable as the Husenfeld to fit in a small space, as you still need to ensure you have adequate clearance around the shifter for your hand to reach and operate the stick and not collide with any nearby components. So in this round, it's a draw. Uh, they both have versatile mounting options and compact dimensions, allowing them to fit into the smallest of spaces. Performance is our final round, and there's a number of parallels shared across both covering this category. The throw of the stick, the movement while engaging shifts is virtually identical, and so is the resistance tension applied, um, being closely matched between the two, and it's impossible to miss shift with either unit. Another aspect shared by both, you feel really confident slamming through the gears without concern of damaging them. Um, the all metal construction is very rugged, um, so, so far this is a dead heat. However, where they do differ is the noise and feel during shifting. The Husenfeld unit is very quiet, it's merely a dull thud while shifting. Uh, within, there's plastic stops that provide this damping. The A-Log shifter has a more mechanical feel, uh, and you can hear this during shifting too. It's not overly loud though. Let's take a moment and compare the noise between the two. Uh, for me, the A-Log's mechanical tactile feel and sound adds realism, and I do prefer this over the Husenfeld. It's a meaningful difference, and you feel more connected with the car during the shifts. Of course, it's not going to improve your ability in game, uh, but it is a bonus feature in favour of the A-Logs, uh, which I feel is enough to give it the advantage and take the win in performance. Now onto the final segment, the verdict, uh, which is the winner. It's a close matchup, there's wins for both corners and a couple of stalemates. And the result is, it's the A-Logs. It takes it by a single round. I think it's fair, and it's my preferred shifter between the two. Uh, both are excellent products. If you already own a Husenfeld sequential shifter, I wouldn't say it's worth buying the A-Logs, um, as you already have an excellent product, which I'm certain you're completely happy with. On the other hand, if you're researching sequential sim racing shifters for a purchase, uh, there's many options out there. Personally, I've owned a few in the past. I've had a Frex, a Pro Sim Lite, a Club Sport Sequential 1.5, and I also have a BJ sim racing shifter on a shelf in another room. So I have some experience with this type of device, and out of all of these, the A-Logs is my favorite of the lot. It has amazing build quality, really well priced, easy to mount, and feels great. Um, it just has it all, and the one I'd recommend above all of those. Um, so definitely check out the A-Log Shifter, you won't be disappointed. And there you go. It's the best all-round sequential shifter I've ever used, and a treasured part of my sim racing setup. Okay then, uh, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you found this useful, and if you did, please hit the like to help the channel. And of course, if you are not a subscriber, it'd be great to have you on board. And uh, please feel free to leave comments, feedback uh, really helps as well. And I engage with anyone who posts comments on my videos. So if you want to ask something about the hardware featured in the video, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching as always. Happy simming and bye bye for now.